See, the, the rain is nice, but see, I, I don't really like getting wet. What in the world? No, I... Hello lovely friends, my name is Sura and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I want to talk to you guys about my most surprising manga of the year or the ones that really surprised me the most, like I didn't see that coming or they were just really great, they needed their own video. I mean they're not good enough to be on the best new manga series video, <laughs> which is this video is actually coming soon is just they were good enough to have their own video as well and i feel so mean doing these videos for some reason like who am i to be talking about these mangas it's just these are 100 percent my thoughts and this is how i felt so the first manga that i want to talk to you about is like it can't go video without mentioning jinji Edo. like i'll just burst a nerve or something and that is fragments of horror by jinji Edo. and the thing about this is that if you've read Jinji Eto before, their stories are like are unheard of or they just play with your mind. This was completely 100% just body horror, gore, blood and stuff like that. And was really surprising because I always thought his strength um, is in making you scared of things you didn't really see coming. But I was so disgusted reading this one. And this really reminded me of R.L. Stein kind of writing. If you want something just really disgusting to read, pick this one up and he did mention at the end that this is my first collection of horror stories in eight years and he thought that he forgot how to do this but he did it amazingly and this is why this is on this list it kind of felt a different kind of horror especially from Jinji Eto it still remained to be incredible next on this list is this needs to be said because I raved about this all year long most of these mangas actually have reading vlogs for them so if you want more in-depth thoughts please go check out my vlogs I will put them up here and in the description box down below as well so the next one on this list is After the Rain by Junma Yuzuki for the longest time I put this series off I just the premise is really really dangerous and I just didn't feel like reading this this talks about a high school girl who falls in love with her boss at his job who's 40 or something he's 20 years older than her and that premise made me feel so uncomfortable but was this was such a surprising read nothing like you have in mind the most aesthetic read I've read all year long the story was so well developed all the characters so well loved I just it never you know it never goes into that territory, that forbidden territory and that was so great like when you read this and you discover like how great and mature in a way the mangaka's brain is or in her mind, wow, amazing like the best kind of mind like this story really needs more hype you really need to read these series guys like I've never heard anyone talking about this for some reason it's so great and I highly recommend this 100% this needs to be talked about more this this needs to be seen this series is literally one of my favorite series at the moment and i highly highly recommend you pick this one up it's nothing like you would expect it will really surprise you so yeah these are my thoughts the next manga that i want to talk about i actually read this recently and as i said i have a vlog for it i will link it up here so on down below so this manga, what surprised me is the art. It was out of this world. I was just so shocked about how beautiful this art is. And it's Liquor and Cigarettes by Ran Maruzaria. So when I saw this cover, the cover is really cringy and I really didn't want to pick this, but I just saw it and it was on sale. So I was like, what the hell, it's only one volume. A clown right here, this is a clown. This has one of the best art I've ever seen in any manga. It's all about the vibes, you know, the vibes. The vibes were very, very somewhere in Northern Italy. The vibes were very Call Me By Your Name. It was so, so, so beautiful, so well drawn. It was amazing. So the story isn't much actually. Actually, at some point it made me very uncomfortable and it felt kind of forced. Now this story is about two childhood friends who have stores like right in front of each other. One of them like inherited the family cigarette store and the other one inherited the family's liquor store. And they've been friends all their lives. And as they grow older, they start developing feelings for each other. But it definitely felt one-sided from this part and it definitely felt forced it's just the art, my god the art is so beautiful like I was so shocked by the, how beautiful the art is and look at this coloring ah oh, it's so beautiful wow wait look at this it's so beautiful I want to read everything Ran Morazario has ever drawn or written 
problem is her covers are so explicit i don't even know how to buy them i'd be so shy so the next manga on this list i believe this should be on everyone's list on somewhere you know it should be on a list everyone should be talking about this and this is prince freya by keiko ishihara as i said i have a vlog for this as well so this is about our main character who's living in this kind of village and this village is going to be uh conquered soon by this you know army that's coming and two of her best friends are on this two of her, of her best friends are on the opposite army like on their village's army and they come visit her and somehow in a turn of events she ends up going to the palace trying to talk to them and she ends up seeing the prince of her kingdom and he looks exactly like her and but he is currently has been poisoned and dying and so the prince asks her to do this thing for him like this last dying wish is to take his place because he knows she looks exactly like him and that's what happens she takes his place and she is now commanding her the armies of her kingdom and our main character is supposed to be this really weak girl but she will surprise you in the most astonishing ways she is so cute but she is trying her hardest and you can tell and she has a lot of growth coming i really want to read you know this manga like i really want to pick it up when it's finished and just binge read it because it, it has that kind of feeling the art is so beautiful as well like i said it's such a well-drawn manga and this has a lot of plot twists that will break your hearts this mangaka is not afraid to kill her main characters y'all i didn't see that coming and if you know what i'm talking about i was yeah you know what i'm talking about like i was so freaking shocked uh, this needs more readers this needs to be talked about more but i highly highly recommend this if you didn't pick it up yet this manga on this list this is blue flag by kaito i believe a lot of people are talking about this this was really hyped on twitter everyone was reading it and i believe this will be on everyone's favorites list so the thing with this one is that while reading it i wasn't really amazed that much like it was just like any other shoujo pitched manga uh like the beginning this was about our main character who is kind of in love with this guy at school and so and she asks so she asks his childhood friend to help her to become better you know to become his ideal type and so they start you know getting closer together and stuff happens the, the what's shocking about this is the ending because oh it hits you like a train you don't see that coming i i Mm. and so this is why it's on the surprising list because it literally really surprised me like uh the beginning is just you know the art is really clean it's so adorable the characters are so adorably drawn and yeah that's like about it but th then the ending happens and i'm just like what how I, I, how did i not see that coming but yeah I am really looking forward to finishing this one. This is actually finished in Japan, I believe, with seven volumes only. So this is going to be a short and great read. So the last manga on this uh, video, it is... I've never talked about this, actually. This It is I Had That Same Dream Again. The story is by Yuro Somino. And the art... I'm so sorry if it's noisy. And the art is by Idumi Kirihara. So I've heard about Yuri Sumino before. I've heard that all of his, their books are so amazing and the writing is so shocking. But this book made me feel so dumb, like the whole book, like I, like an idiot. I didn't see that coming and it really shocked me as well. Like, uh, it, it felt like the book was laughing at me like throughout this much. Uh, I was tricked and then no, it's more than this. That was more like this one. And the ending was just like, what? How did I not see that? You know, it's really hard hitting. This is a story about a little girl who is uh, doesn't really have a lot of friends at her school. So she but she has a lot of adult friends. And so after school, she goes to visit them. And slowly you know about her day. So everything about this book is from the perspective of that little girl. Like you don't know any about any of the characters' name. You just know what she tells you and where she's going and how she's thinking and how they are thinking, she believes. And stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I felt like a joke at the end of this. But it was so well written. It was so great. It's very hard hitting. There's trigger warning for self-harm, depression, um, suicidal thoughts maybe. Um, 
yeah it's a very heart-hitting manga but a great read and i highly highly recommend it so yeah guys these were my most surprising mangas of the year what was a manga that really shook you what was a manga you were so surprised about how well written it was or how well the art was because at the end of the day the only thing that saved this year for me is actually manga and reading so yeah please tell me down below and i will see you in my next video bye bye Baby. I